Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I am sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we hop in, you guys, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, okay, wherever you may have Leo in your chart. We're going to go ahead and hop into your recent past energy, ooh, um, your current energy, and then the current energy around you, Leo. I did have um, a download for you, but then it like quickly slipped my mind, so... It may or may not come back around. I didn't get a chance to write it. All right. Or write it down. <laughs> so that may be something you guys need to do when you get passing thoughts that are very significant. Write them down. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with your uh, recent past energy, Leo. Holy Divine Spirit, provide me energy for Leo. Recent past, please. What's going on with Leo? All right, we got the Page of Swords, all right? So, with the Wheel of Fortune. So, you could have recently uh, been in the energy of spying on someone or just uh, keeping tabs on someone, all right? Um, keeping someone in close proximity um, or someone's energy in close proximity, all right? Someone that you feel you have a saga with okay there's a repeating cycle here that is on and off back and forth here all right we have the six of pentacles all right the energy of give and take so i do feel like one minute you're spying or you're keeping tabs on someone and then the next minute they're doing this to you all right i also feel like somebody or you feel as though you're being breadcrumbed by somebody or you're just being told whatever you want to hear all right, yeah, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse here. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse, please. All right, we have the Moon card here. All right, so there's something that you recently found out in, in your speculation or in um, spying or keeping tabs on someone um, that I feel like released a lot of pressure off of you or allowed you to move forward um, or move away from someone or this is what you want to do, all right? Um, I'm also getting people running back to you telling you information about somebody. It doesn't have to be a lover, all right? This could be somebody that you're in business with. Or in close relationship with. Give me the current energy for Leo, please. All right. I see also, I also see a lot of people like in your energy or or asking you for things. I'm also getting the energy of begging. Uh, I'm also hearing beggars cannot be choosers here. All right. I'm getting um, a lot of codependency in your recent past. People being codependent to you. All right. All right. We have the Ace of Swords for current energy. All right. Gaining clarity or truth in regards to a situation. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Leo, please. Holy Spirit. All right. We have the Three of Swords. So you're finding out the truth um, in regards to um, a breakup or a heartbreak or a situation that involved um, a love quarrel is what I'm hearing. We have the two of swords, a lot of sword energy. I mean, sheesh. All right. So you could currently be in your head in regards to someone betraying you or feeling a sense of betrayal here. But I feel an energy of being stuck with the two of swords here. All right. A lot of you guys are not seeing things for what it is. You have blindfolds on. All right. And this is you doing this to yourself. You know what it is, Leo. All right. You the the ace of swords is here. You have been given and provided the truth. 
clarify the two of swords. This is a lot of mental energy. Like you're just in your head about a lot of shit. All right. Um, definitely could be in regards to love with the three of swords here. Yeah, four of wands here. This is happening right in your home. Clarify the three of swords. The page of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you've recently been given an opportunity to start a new, start fresh. All right, build from the ground up, okay? Um, the, the Page of Pentacles is um, a small offer, all right? But I feel like this is all you need to press forward. Some of you guys may need to move. Clarify the Four of Wands. The Nine of Wands, yeah, because you're, you're feeling a bit wounded in your environment, all right? You're feeling a sense of a lack of... Or you feel like you just don't have enough say so. I feel like a lot of you are fighting for your life um, in a home setting, in a home foundation. Or what's the three of swords? The death card in the reverse. Yeah. It's like you're holding on to broken pieces. Like I literally see pieces of glass in your hand and you're just steadily getting cut all up and it's bleeding blood coming through your hands and you're still just trying to hold on through the pain through the hurt through the mishaps through the the blistering i'm hearing here it's like why are you holding on to something that that continues to hurt you all right give me the current energy around leo all right the seven of pentacles Clarify the seven of pentacles. You're tired, Leo. Like you're tired of investing in this shit. Yeah, we have the hermit here. Virgo energy. You could have Virgo in your chart or on the cusp. All right. You you withdraw yourself or somebody is pushing you to withdraw yourself here. All right. Um, I feel like you have an actual ghost around you or some type of spirit. But it is a lighthearted spirit that's kind of keeping you in covenant or keeping you um, keeping you mentally stable here, keeping you protected. There's also a conversation that needs to be had with an older male. Clarify the hermit. For Leo. The three of wands here. Give me one more. Four of pentacles. So I feel like Leo with the three of wands and the four of pentacles, um, it's like you are waiting for something to come in. Okay, you're waiting for a certain situation to kind of let up or release hold of you. Okay, or this could be someone. But I feel like as long as this person or this energy is suffocating you, what you're wanting to come in, it's going to steadily be a delay. Clarify the three of wands. Six of pentacles, knight of wands here. There's somebody from your past who um, is actively and passionately working towards, um, I feel like, dominating your inner child. Like... Every time you want to be in like um, a lighthearted energy or you want to just be free or you want to be in a nostalgic energy, this person does not allow you to do that. And I feel like with you being in a nostalgic energy or being in an energy of carefree and lightheartedness, that allows what you want to come in to come in easy, easier. All right. And whoever's around you, they know this. So they try their darnest, their hardest um, to block that energy okay they try to put a lot of strenuous stressful energy onto you so that you're frustrated when you're frustrated it's hard to manifest what you want to come in all right somebody could also be trying to use sex to um, manipulate you or to deter you here all right we have look to the stars for your 
self-care energy all right so some of you guys definitely need to get out at night here and kind of connect and talk to the stars okay we also have chanting at the bottom of the deck so um saying certain chants will be beneficial to you leo all right um meditating chanting um Positive affirmations, also getting crystals and stones that correlate with the stars, okay? Um, I'm also hearing here, um, stargazing, um, getting aligned with your birth chart here, all right? Um, astrologically tapping in deeper is what I'm hearing here, all right? So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helps. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I love you. Ashe.